I don't know why, but I'm getting an audience, so I'm going to do this kind of quick. That's my John Deere GT242. Uh, 14 horse Kawasaki. Got it free. The only thing I've had to do to it is belts, the tie rod end, and that little bar down at the front of the deck there that connects the frame to the front of the deck. It just fell off. I knocked it up against a tree limb and now it needs a hood. Kind of split open there on the top for some reason. Other than that, I haven't had to do nothing to it and it's run great. That one I got for free. I've had to put belts, drive belt, deck belt, new blades on it and gas in it. That's all I've done to it. That one I paid $200 for and it needs a coil pack now. I haven't had to do another thing to it. And that's the HDS 2135. That one, the LT1024, haven't had to do anything to it yet. Haven't had the money to do anything to it yet, but I need to get the deck mounted or get the, well, the deck mounted too. It's got a 50 inch cutting deck on it, which is why I really want to get it going. Um, I gotta get the motor mounted on the deck and buy the um, main drive pulley, which is $34 for it. If I want it to plug up to those electrical plugs on that mower, then I've got to get a uh, new stator for that 20 horse motor. I can get the 24 horse one that's supposed to be on there and it should work just fine. But that's pretty much the stator. I was an idiot, drove through it, but I made it. It's been a nice little truck. I've given it total hell and it's taken it. So the last 10 years I've taken it easy on it and just left it rest during which time all this happened. I've got a picture I'll insert right here. Now in that picture all this is still shiny and waxed up and polished shiny polished hood look first thing to go was the clear coat and then the rest of it just pretty well blew off just sitting here partly because i didn't have it covered this was just a little spot of course this is just surface rust i've already sanded it off once but i was stupid didn't know what i was doing didn't know to use metal etching primer um, I just basically sanded it down threw navel jelly on it left it set long enough to finish um, washed it off dried it let it sit and then threw the primer to it and it was primer sealer so I thought I was doing the right thing unfortunately that wasn't the case and now you see how bad it is the whole way across and it pretty much needs painted the whole way around now because again sitting here it's just the paint's just dulling and falling off of it even right here and it it had perfect paint all down through here the only thing that was wrong with this side is one little divot right there where I punched it my girlfriend at the time the one that helped me buy this truck shut my hand in the door and rather than smack her <laughs> I smacked my truck left me a little knuckle ding right there <clears throat> the only reason I haven't really pushed to get this thing repainted is because of those decals right there I can find everything else to put this truck back the way it is except those decals and it should be simple just a standard red it's a different color red than the truck but it's just a standard red and this is just a standard silver with four lines through it probably about two inch lettering and it's all italics not real bad just slightly I might have to talk to old Mr. Bill about that one this one 
I can find all over the place. I don't care if you see the tag number. That's That doesn't go back to anything that's legit now anyway. But even my back bumper, if you'll see right there, back bumper's all blown off. I never used that bumper. There's never been anything hooked to it. The guy that had the truck before me used the uh, receiver hitch. And the only thing he ever pulled with it was a small John boat. It was an old man that had it. That's who put the first 90,000 miles on it. And I ran it the rest of the way up to 269,000. And they were not at all easy miles. I rode this truck hard and put her away wet several times. Now here's the odd thing. <clears throat> you look right there. There's not a thing in the world wrong with that cab corner. I've never seen one cab corner be fine and the other one be screwed up. That just boggles my head. Figure if one goes, the other one should go. But you can look, it's perfectly solid. No bubbles. There's a little dent there that I got stupid and I don't know how I did, but probably raising hell on the truck. Buckled it just right and slammed the bed against the, the cab. It's kind of what it looks like. That's the only thing I can figure. But I've taken this truck out in the field out back here and just gave her all kinds of hell. But it's got all new bearings, all new calipers. Uh, does need new upper and lower ball joints on both sides. Transmission is fine. It's had the fluid changed every 14,000 miles. The um, oil's been changed every 3,500 miles with Mobile One only since I've had it. That's all this truck's known. I would crank it up, do another goofy cold start, but um, the fuel pump's gone on it. You can see though, dash isn't cracked. It needs a good cleaning, but it ain't cracked anywhere. Until this past year, I had 5% tint on the side windows. 5% tin on the back. The tin on the back window is still there, but it's turning purple on me. <laughs> I forgot I put this on here. That needs to be on everybody's pickup truck. Everybody's. I don't know how many times I've gotten myself into trouble just helping people move. So if you ever get a pickup truck, either find you one or make you one. I'd like to I'd like to take and get that blown up and just put all across the back window. Because I don't know how many times I've had people ask me, well, can you come help me move this weekend? And my son's old uh, master cylinder for his little 88 S10 blazer. But yeah, you can see it's got all the factory original stuff in it I tried to sell it a number of times nothing's faded it's just dirty but I tried to sell it a number of times and my wife wouldn't let me and I asked her why she said because <coughs> that was the first time she remembered seeing me come sliding in the parking lot sideways and that thing uh, slid right up to the front door of her hotel room to meet her the first time she was there with some party with her friends from IRC chat or whatever and told me what room she was in. I went out there and sat down and had a few words with her and then took my butt to work and was almost late. But of course, I kept it hammered, made it to work right on time. But anyway, that's the long and short of it. The only other project that I have that I haven't finished up with is this one right here. Now I've got most of what I need to finish it up now. I've just got to, um, I think I'm gonna have to rerun the fuel lines on it. I think I've got them misrouted on there. But if I can rerun the fuel lines, hook up the transmission lines, 
hook up the spark plug wires, fill the thing up with fluid, it should be ready to start and go. And somebody's been sitting on her hood and I'm gonna crack some skulls. That dent was not there. Somebody tried to rectify the problem too. But yeah, hers is all tinted up and everything too. But it's it's ready to go. Just gotta button up them last few things and she'll be rolling. Of course, she don't have a license yet. And it don't matter if you see that tag either. You'll notice that's a Georgia tag. It's been out of, out of date for a while. But we haven't gotten it registered yet because I haven't gotten it running to get it down there and get it uh, emissions tested. So what I'm going to do, since this one's closer to being done than anything, and us never knowing when we're going to need a backup vehicle, I'm probably going to get out here this weekend and try and get this thing buttoned up. My daughter's not going to like us using it for a backup vehicle, but she don't have a license and no hope of getting insurance. So, And she's not driving it out of the yard without insurance on it. But that's the state of the nation. Uh, now, this one is a little bit different uh, stretch, different situation. This actually my dad bought for $2,500. And mom told him no after he bought it. So it's stayed out here. It's registered in my name. Those are my tags in the windshield. But this dent needs to be worked out. Which, if you're careful, you can still get it to come out without having to just totally redo the whole fender. Because that's not real bad. There is a little bit of a crease right here. I mean, it doesn't got to be perfect. It's a work truck. 1975 Custom Deluxe 30. Got a little spot right there. That was caved in really bad. And I've managed to walk it out that far. Now, it's got a little rot right here. And it's through. But that's just a little thin, little thin spot of metal. I can probably put pretty much anything in there and build that back up. Try my hand at doing the body work. But as you'll see, it's hydraulic brakes. It's a um, 350 four bolt main, which was standard for this truck. No special toys, no air conditioner. You got a blower motor. It comes on as soon as you turn the truck on because somebody's got it straight wired. Got to get that fixed up. Um, like I said, it's hydraulic clutch, hydraulic brakes, hydraulic bed dump. Other than the few little spots of rust and that one dent on the other side over there. On the passenger side front fender. There's one little ding here. Nothing in the doors, but they could use a good cleanup. A little surface rust right there. And then these things need taken off and re redone. But got the dual wheel rear axle. I put that muffler on it. That's just a little $25 uh, AutoZone special right there. But it made a world of a difference in how quiet the truck is. Because before it was just cut right off of the... Um, the muffler with a turn down and it sounded like crap but even as old as this truck is look right there no rust it's dirty but there's no rust back here was another story this was completely rusted just from riding it on the wet roads and everything so my neighbor MacGyver back there the one that you've seen in a few of my videos and seen working on that uh, little white Kia right there, which now does have a front end on it. Um, he was generous enough. Of course, he used my welder to do it, my arc welder. But he bought the metal and he welded that thing on there. Um, the guy that sold it to me broke the bed pins, but there was one solid metal bed pin that went across from that side of that black beam that the taillights are attached to, to this side. That's the pivot for the dump bed itself. 
Now when he broke that pin, my neighbor had to get his little MacGyver helmet on and he came up with another workable solution that's just as sturdy. Basically what he did was split the bar in two and put those nuts on with some um, big uh, washers to allow it to swivel and put it all back together. You can see that's it's got some pretty heavy duty springs on it. All that rust that's on the frame is just surface rust. None of it's very deep at all. <coughs> Which for it being a 1975 is nothing. See, cab corner, no problem. I don't know how old this dump bed is. I've not seen any markings or a year or anything else on it. But it came with uh, um, the side bodies for the cattle truck where it's got the open slats in it or this one to use it as a dump truck. Three speed with granny low, dirty windows. And there's the PTO stuff down in the floor down there. That little green screwdriver handle and a gray one. There's my replacement tail light in the seat. This one's kind of cold natured. But once you get her started, she'll run all day long. Use that truck to move all the dirt that packed in my neighbor's driveway and all the dirt that's over beside my daughter's truck and my uh, car hauler. It took me, I think, two days, two or three days we worked on that. I think we hauled 14 loads in, in two days. And that was with running back and forth and dealing with this this issue with the family and the kids and the truck because that thing about tipped over we raised that bed up one time and the, the first load when we found out that the the bed pin was busted on it raised it up right next to old macgyver's barn over there and it about tipped over that was not fun times and then to make it worse i brought it over here to dump one of the loads next to the where the cars park out there and about tipped it over again out here. But I used my noggin. I let the bed down almost all the way and ran the low side, the side that it was leaning on, ran that side of the back tire up on the dirt mound and then I was able to, to raise it up normal and dump the load off finally.